If you have a personal Google account, you may want to add it to the library's Chromebook temporarily. In the lower left hand corner of the Chromebook, hit the circle. This is known as your launcher. In the search field that appears, begin by typing in add. You should see add Google account start to appear. If not, just keep typing until we have add Google account. This will take you to the portion of your settings that will allow you to add a second account to this Chromebook. We're going to look for the white button that says add Google account and click on it. We'll probably be prompted with this prompt. Just go ahead and press OK. Now you're ready to log in to your Google account. You'll need to know the email address associated with your Google account and the password. When I finish logging in, I'll have to have a final agreement screen that I hit I agree to. Now I'm logged into my account and I can see it listed on my account page. When I'm done with the device, it's a best practice to remember to come in and remove this account from this page. But of course, the library will wipe our devices before we lend them out again. Let's look and see how this will look if I try to access this account from Google Chrome. Notice on a Google page in the top right corner, there's always a round account symbol. Currently, it's a W, which is the default symbol for a library account. When I click up here, I'm going to see there are two accounts listed, including the personal account that I just logged into. If I click on my personal account, it's going to open a new tab in Chrome and allow me access to my account information, such as Gmail or other Google products. If I load my Gmail, I'll see now I'm checking my personal email. You have to remember to switch to your personal account frequently when using these devices. You'll notice if I open a new tab, it switches back to the default account. And again, I have to go up to the account symbol and switch to my personal account. Let's look at an example of what would happen if I tried to launch the Gmail app. Again, notice it defaults to this main account. I'm going to have to go in and switch to my personal account in order to actually check my email. Again, remember, switch to your personal account frequently on these devices.